Okay, this should be a relatively short video. There's like three slides to it, but it just it was a good break from the, the last one, which might be a little bit longer. So this is just about diffusion. So here are the three things that we're going to talk about over the course of the next three slides. And really, now that I look at it, we're talking about the first one. The last two we're going to talk about on the, the last video of the week. So the oxygen cascade. Now, if you remember from the last video, we can calculate the amount of oxygen in the air that we breathe in. Okay, remember the, the atmosphere has a pressure at sea level of about 760 millimeters of mercury. 21% of that is oxygen. And so that puts us at about 150, 152, I think. Okay, and so that's where we're starting here is just this air that we're breathing in has a pressure of oxygen of about 150, right? So sea level is 760. Dry air, meaning the air that we haven't humidified, is uh, 160. Sorry, my math was wrong. So I have these slides. But that air, once it gets into our alveoli, or gets into our bodies, we humidify it. And so it becomes about 150. So this right here corresponds to this. And so we take the barometric pressure. We subtract 47 because that's how much, pre that's the pressure of air, or excuse me, the pressure of water um, uh, at 37 degrees Celsius. So that's body temperature. And then we multiply that by the 0.2093. Okay, and that gives us about 149. But we're not in our alveoli yet, so that's just like getting into the airways. And so that 149 drops all the way down to 105. Okay, so this, just to try and make it clear, is right here. And so really the biggest thing that's happening is we're displacing the oxygen and that's in our air and replacing it with the CO2. Okay. But then um, we go to the arterial blood. And this is a little bit lower than the alveoli. So this is going to be a little bit different from what we talked about in human phys. Okay. Notice that that line is a little bit lower than that line. And this is because we're never completely equilibrated. Okay. We have alveolar oxygen, which is the big A. And then we've got arterial oxygen, which is the little a. And they're a little bit different. And we're going to talk, that's really what the next lecture is all about. The other thing I want to talk about is this N capillary. Okay, so this is the amount of oxygen, the pressure of oxygen that's actually in your bloodstream at the end of the pulmonary capillary. Okay, so it's in between alveolar and arterial. Um, we're not really going to get into why. There's still, there's still a little bit of... Uh, I guess a little of, bit of disequilibrium. I don't know if I, that's the right word, but that's why they're a little bit different. But we're going to talk about why these two numbers right here, alveolar and arterial oxygen pressures are different um, on lecture three. So, but we want to finish talking about diffusion. Okay. Diffusion takes time. And the reason that it takes time is that it's got to cross a whole bunch of stuff. Okay. So, we're starting in here in the alveoli and we've got to get to the red blood cell. So a molecule of oxygen has to not hit that button, cross the, cross the alveolar wall, then cross, go across what's called the alveolar basement membrane. Okay. So here's the alveolar wall right here. Here's the basement membrane, which is here right there. Okay. Then we've got to get to the capillary basement membrane, which is here followed by the capillary wall, okay, which is here. Then it has to get across the red blood cell membrane, right, which is this part here. And this takes about a quarter of a second, okay, which is plenty of time, we'll find out, or we have more than enough time to do that um, at rest, but during exercise, not necessarily. Okay, so keep that in mind as you watch the next video.